Who has been the most arrogant person who has ever lived? A candidate for this dubious title would certainly be Pharaoh, King of Egypt. Parshat Miketz commences with the words, Vayehi Miketz shnatayim yamim ufaroch holem vihine omeid al hayor. And after two years had passed, Pharaoh had a dream and behold, he was standing over the river. The Egyptians deified the river Nile and that is because they depended on its waters for their very lives. Pharaoh was Omeid al hayor He stood over the river, indicating that he saw himself as the ultimate supreme powerful god of gods. Rav Salman Sarotskin in his Sefer as Naim Latara explains that that is surely why the Egyptian sages, when interpreting his dream, explained that everything to do with his dreams was connected with Pharaoh's own self, his self-importance, his personal life, his personal future. But they were wrong. Joseph stepped forward and he gave what Pharaoh knew to be the true interpretation. Because Joseph saw in Pharaoh not just somebody who was living for himself, a true and great leader is somebody who is concerned about his people and is concerned about the entire world. And therefore Joseph's interpretation related to all of Egypt and all of humankind at the time. Pharaoh liked Joseph's interpretations and in turn he lived up to the aspirations that had been placed for his kingship. And as a result, he entrusted Joseph with the responsibility to guarantee that Egypt and the world would be prepared for those seven years of famine. Rav Sirotskin adds a further word. The Torah tells us, in the present tense, not Pharaoh stood over the river, but Pharaoh is standing over the river, indicating that Pharaoh, king of Egypt, was not the only ruler who was there in power for his own sake. Unfortunately and tragically, there are some Pharaoh-styled rulers who exist to this day. Rulers of nations who are only concerned about their own grandeur, about their own power, about their own control. Rulers who are willing, at the expense of their people, to engage in dangerous pursuits, who are willing to sacrifice the lives of tens of thousands of their people just to guarantee that they will have more power on earth. Joseph's timeless message for us is that to be a great leader, one needs to recognize one is in one's seat of power, not for one's own sake, but for the sake of all others. Shabbat Shalom.